This is a slightly fancier hem that I'm going to be doing on fleece. I'm going to start off with the number 8 overcast on the edge to clean it to clean up the raw edge. Don't really have to with fleece. It typically does not fray. But I just like a finished looking garment both on the inside and the outside. You can use an overcast foot if you need to with this stitch, but it's a fairly easy one to do and the machine tends to go fairly good with it. You don't need an overcast foot. Gives a nice finished look to it. Now for the bottom hem of a fleece garment, I usually have a one inch hem. You can measure it if you want to, or you could just eyeball an inch. Usually with fleece, I end up making like hoodie jackets. So half inch, three quarter inch, inch and a quarter, doesn't really make that much of a difference. Now for this hem detail, I'm going to be using number 18, which is the honeycomb. And I'm going to go with a six millimeter wide and a two millimeter stitch width or stitch length lock stitch it's not the quickest stitch in the world so if you're looking at getting a project done quickly, I wouldn't use the stitch. That's how the front of it looks. That's how the back inside would look. And the honeycomb, which a lot of people don't know, is also a stretch stitch. So with fleece, it's nice you don't finish. This gives kind of a commercial finish like the reverse cover stitch does. But I think it looks much nicer than a, uh, the back side of a cover stitch.